Good evening, I'm Dan Klein. Thanks for joining us. The first case of the Ebola virus has been diagnosed in the United States. But one local expert tells News 18 it is a diagnosis that should not cause you to panic. News 18's Bernie Tyner reports that's because he says it's a single case of a man who had been to West Africa and the virus can be contained in the United States. The longer the outbreak occurs in West Africa, the more likely these cases are going to be seen in the United States. It was announced on Tuesday that the first case of the Ebola virus has been diagnosed in the United States. David Sanders, associate professor of biological sciences at Purdue, says this is not a complete surprise. In this particular case, uh, what we're talking about is somebody who traveled uh, to West Africa and is uh, now in the uh, United States. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control confirmed that a patient was in isolation at Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital, Dallas. The man flew to the U.S. from Liberia on September 20th. Had no symptoms when departing Liberia or entering this country, but four or five days later, around the 24th of September, began to develop symptoms. On the 26th of September, initially sought care. CDC Director Tom Frieden says the patient was admitted to the hospital and put in isolation on Sunday. He says it's possible a handful of people who came in close contact with the man may have been exposed. He says they will be tracked down and was confident that the disease would be contained. Sanders agrees. He says there's no need to panic. We need to focus on the fact that this is a single case. It is under control, it's unlikely to spread, and, um, you know, that's, so that's, that's the most important message. That was News 18's Brittany Tyner reporting. The CDC says Ebola is only spread by direct contact with someone who's sick with the virus, and it's only spread through body fluids. The incubation period is usually 8 to 10 days after exposure, but it can be as short as 2 days or as long as 21 days.